Hi everyone, long time no see. Uh, I'm back after a long intermission, I guess. I guess you guys could say. Um, today I'm looking at Loop by Ludovic Servat. Loop is a kind of, uh, not point and click, I think he tried to describe it as a point and run. Uh, it's a puzzle game. You kind of look for clues and try and solve cases in this little village. Um, I think it's French, so some of the English is a little bit broken, uh, but we'll get into that. So we take the role of this massive uh, magnifying glass up here, which we can move around. Um, the graphics are cartoony, not amazing, but the game's very unique. So I'm going to talk to this guy with a beret on called Dogu. My donkey dif disappeared and I worry a lot. Without him, I don't know how I will do. Are you able to trace him? Of course, but to trace him, I need some details. What can you say to me about your donkey? All I can say is that he is a nice animal in the black dress and in the grey snout. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, he adores carrots and his blood group is O negative. I hope that will help you find the beginning of his track because obviously important to know the blood type of your uh, your donkey. It's true it's always important to know the diet and the blood group of an animal in case we should transplant the liver of the donkey on a tramp who would have too much abused the bottle. <laughs> so now they're talking about interspecies transplanting. Um, this game has gone crazy already. So let's look for some clues to help us find the uh, the donkey. Uh, so we can kind of look around this village and just see if we can find anything. So there's some carrots here. Donkeys obviously love carrots. That does not correspond to the fact that I look for. All right, okay then. So you've got your coordinates up in the top right, which kind of helps you find out where you are. You can look at your cases. Uh, I think it's F1. Yep, there you are. Uh, there are eight cases at the moment because this is an alpha funding. It's available on Tessera. It's pretty cool. It's like 99p. Look, this tree is lacking maintenance. If it was my tree, I shall make as everybody. I would let the wind. I would let do the wind. If it was my tree, I shall make as everybody. I would let do the wind. Right, sweet. I'm glad. I'm glad I know that now. That's a hat. Is that an upside down hat? I don't know, man. Oh, well, that guy looks like he might be involved. <laughs> you know what? I had a narrow escape. A donkey confused me with a huge carrot and tried to bite me. It's the third time today that he makes he makes me dash off as a rabbit. Haha, <laughs> do you understand ra carrot rabbit? Haha, <laughs> no. All right, then. Um, so that's Carrot Man, uh, one of the unused uh, Mega Man villains. So now we have some uh, some tracks which we can follow. So I'm going to follow these tracks. As a giant magnifying glass, we're pretty good at following tracks along, really. So, Donkey's gone through the puddles. Where's he going? Come on, Donkey. Our Eureka bar at the top is filling up, actually, as we get closer. Oops. <laughs> the hell? Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll ignore that guy. Nope. And he's apparently he's walked right past the guy who's missing his donkey. Um, so, he's not the most keen observer. He's just leading us around in tracks now. I've got to say, I'm actually enjoying this game. It's pretty funny. Maybe for just for the broken English, but there's a lot of hats just lying around. Um, but it's really unique. That's um, King whatever his name is from um, Dragon Ball Z. Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Someone in the comments, please tell me what that guy's name is, because I have no idea. King Yamcha? No, not Yamcha. What the fuck am I on about? Oh, come on. King, what are his names? Oh, I found the donkey! So... But as a farmer, should you not like seeing the bio evolving like that? No. Do not cultivate vegetables, too. Not at all, I'm a cook at a restaurant. McFat. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me return my donkey. Oh, God, no! He's gonna eat the donkey! Alright, so so we found we found the donkey. Uh what else have we got? So let's go find someone else to talk to. There was that guy with the diving helmet on down here, so I'm gonna see if I can find him and uh see what he has for us. He's over this way. There's more hats just lying around. I oh, know, there's there's someone here though. Is that Indiana Jones? Damn on blast it. It's damned eagle wolf is impossible to find. I know that it exists and I want to prove it. Help me find it. An eagle wolf, what is it? I don't know. You don't know this monster. It's a creature at the middle eagle, the middle wolf, and again eagle above. It is a predator of sheep, all of which, 
all which looks like a sheep is a prey for this monster. <laughs> the eagle will fix this. People treat me as a madman if you find it. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Right. Um, let's find some sheep and see if we can find the eagle wolf, which was well explained to us. Man. Not, there's no clues with that sheep. Okay, so the eagle wolf hasn't been this way. There's just a chair? Nope. Okay. I can imagine this thing being pretty interesting when it's kind of widened and there are more um, kind of clues and adventures to do. Don't know about the difficulty of them. They're quite simple, but at the same time, I'm still kind of enjoying it. Like, you know, like looking around, investigating, exploring things. There's no music, I don't think. Or at least I can't hear any music or sound effects, which hopefully get added at some point. But, I mean, it's in alpha, so I don't really know. If we do not speak... Oh, well, what? Never mind. Right, so I'm trying to find some kind of clue. Man, I'm going to be the world's best detective. Screw Batman. I'm a giant magnifying glass with an eye. Yeah, I'm floating around the sky. No one's batting an eyelid. Oh. Oh, that's like an... Oh, they look like sheep and they've been eaten. It's strange this bush was completely plundered. It's like Edgar Scissorfingers had danced at the Lombardo with this bush, having taken two kilograms off completely conventional drugs. Man, that is quite a sentence. It's like Edgar Scissorfingers had danced the Lombardo with this bush, having taken two kilograms of completely conventional drugs. Over the feather scratch. Okay. Cool, we've, we're doing some good intuition. So now we're going to follow the tracks again. I'm starting to wonder if it's all just find the clue and then follow the tracks, because if so, that's not, not the best. I don't know if we, if we have to keep following. Oh, it gets faster as, as the Eureka sign falls. So maybe it just gets faster as it goes, and then therefore the difficulty is increased. I'm not sure. Oops. It's leading me in all sorts of tracks. Where are you, you damn eagle wolf? Oh, you did not follow the runaway with enough vigour. You are too slightly scatterbrained, my dear. Fair enough. So I guess if you don't do it in a certain amount of time, it just uh, it disappears. So have I got to go all the way back over here now? And start it again. So I have a feeling I do. So do I click here again? Yep. That's not fantastic, to be honest with you. You have to move kind of like half the world away and then come back to it. I kind of get what it's trying to do though now with like difficulty and the whole thing where it said it was point and run. So you've kind of got to try and get up to Eureka by the time the track ends. And that obviously falls if you go off the tracks or miss like a certain amount of tracks. It's actually surprisingly difficult. Because if you wait too long, it kind of just goes. Hmm. Ah. Am I going to get there? Nope. All the way back again. This is just fantastic. Is there any shortcut or anything? No. Nope. Okay. Cast de dispartition. There is, like, French language in this. I think some of it hasn't been completely switched over to English. Alright. One more. Well, I'll have one more go at this. I refuse to give up on the eagle wolf. I've waited all my life to see an eagle wolf, and now it's within my fingertips, and I'm not going to let it slip away. Part eagle, part wolf. What more could someone's dreams ask for? I feel like this is going quite well. Come on. You damn magnifying glass. You can do this. Oh, the Eureka bar's full. Just let's just keep it full. No, yes, I've done it. There's the eagle wolf. See, it this, that doesn't look like a wolf. Silly thing. I don't look like a sheep, which I know. It is because 
before I had begun a juggler's career of chainsaws on second thought, I should have maybe begun with rubber balls. Oh, so his arm came off when he was juggling chainsaws. That makes more sense. <laughs> it's quite humorous. I mean, I don't have a clue what they're actually on about. Right, can I use this guy? I believe that the young hooligans took my car to make a rodeo and drove it up speed in the village. It's absolutely necessary to find it. I'm going to help you, but to find it, I need some details. What can you say to me about your car? It's a Cadillac of collection of the 1920s in an orangey ochre colour. In blow on? These hooligans had to feast to make tons of skids with my car. <laughs> well, I'll leave inspect the places in search of an indication you'll just be a car. By the way, I adore your house coat. Okay, there's some skid marks. Apparently they do not correspond to the fact that we look for. Of course. That eagle wolf is now just chilling next to the fisherman. There's so many hats just lying around. Right, let's try and find more skid marks, I guess. And there's no clue in that in that hole. Oh, there's, there's more. Aha! Smart and exceeded, like in the movie Old Cards for Boaster, Past and Glorious. Nice. Some solid jokes there. Alright. The car has, like, paw prints. It's not your standard car. But yeah, if you're looking for a game that's just kind of relaxing, a little bit of intrigue, a little bit of comedy, very cheap, um, definitely worth looking at. I'm actually really impressed by this. Definitely funny. Oh, come on, I didn't follow the rug. You know, on that note, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it quits. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with this. Apparently there's going to be more mechanics added. Um, I can see that, because at the moment it's quite basic, but... In a way, I think that's kind of why it's so enjoyable. Um, maybe a few more, like, kind of variety in the missions or something like that. But yeah, anyway, guys, I shall see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll be doing more videos soon. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.